Budget insurance. Affordable because you can't afford not to. Hello and welcome to the inside of a 1968 Ford Mustang Sportback. It looks like an original, well, pretty badass version of an original, but this car is not exactly stock. <laughs> Loud noises! So let me take you over this incredible build. 6.7 liter V8 Ford crate motor, shipped over from America from Proformance, but not running carbs, running fuel injection, and it's supercharged. And the thing is, I'm kind of used to supercharged cars now because my little 1990 Mazda MX-5 is supercharged and I love it to bits, but the supercharger in this car is about the size of my Mazda MX-5. <laughs> Downsides to having a 6.7 liter supercharged V8 engine in your Mustang. Well, one of them is that it uses quite a lot of fuel. The owner estimates that this car uses about 50 liters of fuel per 100 kilometers. It gets about two kilometers per liter. Two! <laughs> that is insane. So yeah, I don't exactly, don't exactly have a long cruising range. So the owner wanted it to look original, but he didn't want it to be slow. And so they've tuned this car to have 800 horsepower and 1100 Newton meters of torque. 1100! And all that power used to run through a five-speed manual, but the owner lives in Camps Bay. And if you're not familiar with Camps Bay in Cape Town, it's a little bit like living on a ski slope. And he reckoned it was just too tiring to drive. A lot of fun, but just a bit of a pain in the ass. So they've swapped it out for a four-speed auto with an overdrive gear. And it is quite a difficult gearbox to operate. In fact, I haven't actually managed to figure it out yet. And so the guy who brought me the car, the filmmaker, Stefan, he has to help me with the gearbox. So yeah, it takes, it takes two people to operate the gearbox, which is a bit embarrassing for me, mostly. And these mirrors are so useless, I think they're literally just there because legally they have to be there. They pretty much serve no purpose. Ah. <laughs> okay, I'm starting to have fun. Okay, going to attempt to get to the red line. RPM foot flat. Sheesh. <laughs> but it shifted so early. It shifted at four and a half thousand RPM. What is the point of that? That's like going to a party and leaving at half past nine. Look at that motor. 6.7 litre, 408 cubic inches, supercharged. Some really interesting work in here. The charged air runs into the bodywork, down into the massive intercooler, which is at the bottom there in the bottom air dam, back up and then into the top of the engine. This should be a carburetor engine, but it's been converted to injection. And look at the size of this radiator. Look at that. Because you know, these cars used to like overheating. So you do need a lot of cooling to keep things cold under there. Two 3.5s up front with big six-piston Woolwood brake calipers. 
which is quite important if you have 800 horsepower going to the rear wheels. Two 8.5s at the back. What I love about the interior is the contrast between the modern white dials and this old school wooden steering wheel. It took them four months to source that steering wheel. It's actually a new one made to look old. And then at the back, you might notice that the exhausts are missing. It's a much cleaner look. They actually finish just over the rear axle. But overall, I'm just absolutely in love with this thing. Really, I really, really want one, which is quite problematic because I need to buy a house first. But houses are very boring. Okay, I wanted to show you what it's like starting this thing up because it's it's quite an event. So here we go. Neutral. Let's just keep it on the brake. Fuel pump. Overfuel it. Oh, no. <laughs> Yo, old car shakes on idle. Okay, now you get to watch me try get it into drive, which is the exciting part. Oh, that felt like drive. Yeah. Haha, -ha, I did it. I'm getting better at this gearbox. Alrighty, let's go. Starting to have fun. Okay, so Mustangs are pretty special to me. I'm about to put a picture on the screen of me as a three year old sitting on my dad's 67 Mustang, which he restored. Now I'll give you another photo. There we go. Yo, I was very blonde, eh? But my dad absolutely loved that car and so did I. Well, as much as a three-year-old can love a car. And I grew up with that V8 warble in my head. And I've always wanted one of these and so I'm so grateful to get the opportunity to drive one. But it's also showing me how much money, how much time, how much effort you have to put in to modernize one of these, to get it to this point. I mean, I don't know if I need a Mustang with 800 horsepower. I mean, you know, 600 would probably be enough, if I'm honest. But driving around in this, I've come to realize just how much of a cult car this is. But not cult in the sense that nobody knows what they're looking at. Everyone knows what they're looking at. This is going to be one of the most famous designs in motoring history. Jeez. 4,000 RPM and you can feel this motor's not even opened up yet. This car gets an unbelievable amount of attention and what it's just confirmed for me is just how much character this car has compared to just about any modern car on the road. I don't think you can beat a classic Mustang for just pure charisma, pure presence on the road. Cars at Coza is so much more than just a YouTube channel. Take our app for instance, it's been downloaded over 500,000 times in the Android store alone, which means it must be okay, right? You'll find the links to the download for iOS and Android in the description below. Budget insurance, affordable because you can't afford not to.